Hello and welcome, Dr. Eugene Bogristo speaking. Um, today I want to show you a nice life hack which I have recently discovered. Um, it is about using pictures in your discrete choice uh, experiment. And as you know, on the SDT tool, you usually work with texts, and if you introduce your text into Qualtrics, you cannot make something with pictures. Uh, I'll give you an example exactly how you can resolve this issue. Uh, first, what we need, we need to see how Qualtrics sees the pictures. And we just go to any new question and we go to Rich Content Editor. And the next thing we have to do, we have to add a picture. And I decided that for this simple example, I just use two pictures. I take this one, female two, and I insert another picture, which will be male three. Let's take this one. And now you have the pictures, and the issue with Qualtrics is it doesn't really work with the external pictures. If you want to work with pictures within Qualtrics, you have to first import them to Qualtrics, and then you can use them. So, if you want pictures, go to Qualtrics, Rich Content Editor, Pictures, and here you have an opportunity to upload a new graphic. I have already uploaded mine, so that is why we can work with these pictures. The second problem is that it has very unique code, and if you want to use it, it should look like this. Go to the source, and here you have the code which is behind this picture. It goes up to here. This is the first picture, and we copy this text, and we go to the, self, uh, to the conjoined survey design tool, SDT, and what we do here, I just try to make a new file. Okay. And we make a simple discrete choice experiment just to show how it works. We add two attributes, only two. You don't see them, they are on the second screen. I don't know why, but I cannot bring them. Can I somehow bring them here? No. The first attribute is then gender. And the other second attribute is the salary. We assume that male and female employees, they have different seller expectations, or uh, they are assumed to have different seller expectations. And in the event of gender, usually I would have added something like male and female, but we want to use a picture instead. That is why we delete these items and we add something new. We add a new item and we paste here the text from Qualtrics. We add a new item and we copy the code for the second picture, which starts with the image and goes up to here. So for you, it will be different. It will depend on how you will upload the picture. Going back to the SDT, where it is, somewhere here, and adding a new item. Now we have it. It is important because you have here also the width and the height, and if you want to have pictures smaller or bigger, it is where you can change it. You can change it in Qualtrics and then just copy the code with the next width, with the correct width and height. Uh, then we go to salary and just add some items. Let's say we add 50,000 euros, we add 55,000 euros. Let's make one more. It is just an example, so you can add more if you want. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I go to settings and I make this not randomized, just you can make randomized, but in this event it makes no sense. And I make only one task because I want to show you how it works. You can have more. And number of profiles will be two. Saving settings. Now exporting to PHP. Program will ask me where I want to save it. And I will call it uh, pictures DCE. Saved. And now I'm going to export to Qualtrics, and I also will call it pictures DCE, and a typo, pictures DCE, and it has been saved as pictures DCE underscore task. So now I have the two files and they will not work, and I'm going to show you the, the error which will appear, but one by one. We go to the hosting where we would like to upload a file, and we upload our new file which is pictures DCE PHP uploading the file, go into this new file, um, will look like this, 
then we have the backslash and we have the pictures this e dot php and an error file not found so I probably I have called it differently one more time did I make a mistake oh, okay it has not been uploaded because I've been for a long time not here that's why I just need to log in one more time and upload the file correctly so upload the file the file is then pictures dce php it will not work i'll show you in a second why or probably you will see on your own why and now let's try to update it and here we have it we have the error in the line 41 we go to this file i have it somewhere here this is picture dce php i open it with the notepad plus plus and here is the line 41 and i don't know whether you see the mistake so actually it is the gender this is the array so it will take one of the items this is the first item where did i have it somewhere here the first item goes up to here and this is the second item it goes up to here the problem is actually these quotation marks because php uses also the quotation marks and it knows that after the quotation mark the item starts but here it comes it stops all of a sudden without any any sign and that is why it cannot read this line what we need we need to sh tell php that some quotation marks they should be used as really quotation marks in the text and you do it with a backslash i think this is done like this backslash so in front of all of your quotation marks you put a backslash here this was here we have another one and at the end we have another one here pay attention i just make a blank and add a quotation mark because otherwise the quotation mark will be seen as part of this of this link which we don't want to and this quotation mark we need it because it is the end of the item this is fine this is the beginning of the next item and this is already the text we put a quotation mark here we put a quotation mark here we put a quotation mark here and we need a quotation mark here i do it with a blank to separate it from the from the picture itself and the salary has no quotation mark so theoretically i hope i didn't miss one let's see this one this one this one this one the beginning of the item end of the item this is the quotation mark i need yes another one here here one here one so theoretically it's done we just save the file and i upload now the file new I go back to my hosting, select the same file, which is the pictures DCE PHP, open it and upload. Has been uploaded. Let's check that something has changed. And it has changed. You see already it shows something, but the picture is not shown. But don't worry about it because it is the code for Qualtrics. The others cannot have access to this one from external sources, but you will have access to it, hopefully let's go to our experiment we can delete the pictures can we somehow delete the pictures yes i think we can rich content editor we delete the first picture we delete the second picture and now we do the following the usual game which we have you can watch my previous videos you go to the html file which has been exported open it with any editor i use notepad plus plus we copy it we go to the question go on rich content editor go to the source here we paste it and let's see what happens so looks good uh, we need to change this one to choice one choice two and the third one we don't need it we just delete it now it still will not work because we didn't tell qualtrics that it needs to access to this new file so we go to the server flow here we add a new web service and we paste this link there make sure it is a get method click on test you have the data which has been imported click all fields embed all data then move above it should be before the first block because we start with it and the file has to be read before you start your questionnaire 
and click on apply. Now we go back to the survey and if we have done everything correctly then we may see pictures now. We go now to the preview mode and the miracle occurred. We have now the our candidate and we can go to the next question or let's restart the survey and see that and they vary. Restart the survey and they vary. So in this way you can introduce pictures into your discrete choice experiment using the same tools and using the same tutorials I showed you before. Just don't forget to make the change in your syntaxes and don't forget where you have to copy the links to pictures. Uh, and again the size can be changed. Do it before you import it and then everything will be fine. I hope it was helpful, I hope it was useful, at least for me, very, because we have a student now who is going to work with different products and it would be nice to show also how you can work with pictures. Wish you all the best, good luck, and don't forget to share, comment, commenting is very important, liking, subscribing, and whatever else you decide to do to promote this video, because otherwise nobody will see it. Have a nice day, all the best, bye bye.